Hey YouTube, how you doing? Uh, I'm gonna show you today what I'm about to do to this uh, 63 Corvette that has uh, been sitting for the last 19 years, close to 19 years. Hasn't started since uh, 1999. So what I've done uh, to prepare uh, the car for uh, starting is I have uh, first of all I changed the oil uh, drained out all the oil changed the oil back in uh, and I cranked it over um, with the uh, distributor wire uh, so it's not it's not like it has a it has any gas but I didn't want to have any take any chance to fire it over so I uh, Put the new oil in it, new filter, uh, cranked it over uh, until I got oil pressure. And I've been doing that for the last, oh, I've been doing that for the last uh, week or so, every other day, cranking it over, building oil pressure, and just letting it sit. Now today, I have uh, uh, drained the oil. I drained the oil out that I was using the crank and put a new filter in it uh, I pulled the plugs out and uh, I didn't want to um, try to uh, fire the thing with uh, the uh, with no gas in it or try to fire it initially with a gas in it so what I've done is I uh, disconnected the uh, there's really no light down there but I'll show you let me find my light oh, let's see here maybe this will do it right down there I disconnected the uh, the fuel line from the hard line on the frame and brought it back over here and this and connected it to this pipe which then I connected to this tube and I initially um, tried cranking it and it wouldn't it wouldn't um, there was no I wasn't pulling the pulling the uh, It was not pulling the gas up out of the can. So what I did was I got my squeegee, my, uh, where are they? Put them over here? No. Oh, I've lost everything here. Okay, as I was saying, it wasn't drawing the uh, fuel out of the can by just cranking it over through here. So what I ended up doing was taking this syringe and sucking it out the gas out of the container and put it down the oops I put it down the uh, tube of of the uh, gas line I had running down to the fuel pump fill that up completely and then I cranked it over and it like primed the uh, fuel pump and I was able to get uh, fuel up into the uh, fuel filter which is a glass fuel filter which I Prior to today, um, it's a see-through filter, and you can—I don't know whether you can see or not—that uh, there's gas in it now because I've already cranked it over. I just because uh, this filter, I took it off the get the the uh, uh, rubber gas lines, and this comes apart. I separated it, and it was pretty gunky. From it was absolutely dry as a bone, and it was. Uh, dried dirt and 
gas and crud in there so I cleaned it out took it took me a few days to clean it out and I just put it back together today and uh, I put this paper towel under here because it screws together this way and this way and I wasn't real sure whether it was gonna leak or not but it appears if you can see that there's gas in it and it has not uh, started leaking so this is a good thing so we've got gas down to the fuel pump gas to the filter which means we're getting gas to the carburetor um, and what I've done to uh, today is I, I removed all the plugs and when I was cranking it today I uh, did it without the plugs in it because so it would spin over a lot faster and uh, I've cleaned the plugs off of the wire brush uh, I'll probably try starting it with these and then after initially uh, getting the thing fired up I'll probably end up putting a full tune on the thing I just want to see whether I can get this thing whether it will fire or not for the first time in whew, 19, 18, 19 years. So, um, the next, my next step is going to be, uh, I've used uh, brake cleaner, sprayed it out, sprayed the plugs out, got all the gunk out of them from sitting. And I will then reconnect the coil to the distributor down there which I previously had taken apart or off like I said and we'll see whether we can uh, bring the car back to life so I'll uh, insert the plugs and uh, be back shortly yeah what I wanted to uh, also uh, give you a hint on how to kind of prepare the car this uh, car that start hasn't started in a long time is to prepare the cylinders and I didn't I, I forgot to mention that uh, just prior to that little uh, segment that we had I wanted to show you what I did and what I used um, I pulled the plugs out and because obviously you can't get down to the uh, into the cylinders very well with the uh, um, an oil can or a um, um, can of WD-40. What I did was I rigged up, put a hose. This is kind of sort of like a uh, um, windshield wa wiper hose, washer hose off a car. And this is uh, like a vacuum line, and with the with the line like this, I was able to to uh, scotch it down into the uh, where the plugs are. As you can you can see down here where the plugs are, you'd never be able to get a can down there to to squirt anything down the oil down the uh, cylinder walls. So with the plugs removed, I could I could uh, wrangle this down into the let's see here I could get this down into the the hole where the uh, plug is and squirt WD-40 down in there and then um, makes it a lot easier than also with the oil can I uh, shot did the same thing with the oil can shot about two or three squirts of oil down each cylinder and then I cranked it over I've been cranking it over for a week and um, that's what I've been doing uh, for prepping this thing also before I pull the plugs out and it's not a bad idea to label the plugs wires where they came off of because in all the excitement you can easily mix a plug wire up and that'll just give you uh, nightmares on uh, trying to figure out why the thing isn't running right because you, you put the plug wires on the wrong plug so there's six eight down there I 
just put a little tape around there just for a just to be on the safe side so that's uh kind of what i wanted to talk about we'll uh get on to the uh starting uh, put the plug wires on the plugs i've already inserted the plugs clean the plugs inserted the plugs gapped them and now i'll uh put the plug wires on the plugs and uh get the can of gas set up and we'll give it a whirl okay what i'm about to to do is try to fire this baby over so I've got the gas filled up the gas line filled up over here uh, I got my starting fluid I may try to squirt some starting fluid in there and but first I'm going to crank it over a little bit before I connect the coil Check my gas, see how it's going. Okay, I filled the tube up with the uh, siphoning. Uh, baster built the tube up the gas it's the whole thing filled up it's, it's been pumping into the carburetor I'm going to connect the coil right now Let me get a couple squirts of uh, starting fluid does anything coil connected plug wires on gas in it goes nothing that I'll just uh, come back later when we uh, have made sure we get we've got spark okay okay I took the distributor cap off uh, didn't look bad the points uh, the pickup points didn't look bad I took a little sandpaper and sandpapered the uh, points a little bit and they didn't look that bad it, everything was real clean underneath there so I didn't because I'm a one guy operation the ideal situation would be to crank it see whether we're getting spark but since I'm a uh, lone operator here um, I'm just gonna see whether what I did is gonna help him with this amount of 
starter fluid that should, their spark should fire. But we'll see. Here's the mice built a nest in one of the mufflers and it's blowing all the uh, nest fragments out. I'll uh, show you that uh, after I restart it and see what happens. Take you over there and show you the back. See all the mouse mouse shit is flowing out of there. Cleaning opportunities. I had, uh, when I had put the uh, WD-40 and the uh, oil down the cylinder walls and I had the plugs out and I cranked it over, um, some of it uh, shot out and uh, got on the uh, manifold and that's what's smoking. Nineteen years. Nineteen years and she fired right up. This would be the first of several videos I'm going to make on this car. Um, I'll give you a little history on the, uh, the car when I originally bought it way back when. And uh, now that I've gotten it back and I have it fired up, I'll, uh, I'll uh, recreate uh, some of the uh, photos that uh, I did when I did, because I actually did a body off restoration on this uh, 34 years ago.
but I just uh, got it back about two months ago. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope this is helpful. Um, take care, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.